with our next guest, who is an Emmy-nominated actor who we are happy to welcome to the Hallmark family. Let me tell you that. He's starring in the new Hallmark Channel Countdown to Summer film, A Feeling of Home. Please welcome the very talented Nathan Parsons. Yeah, welcome, Nathan. Welcome, Nathan. Yeah, welcome to the family, dude. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. Good to be here. here. No, it's awesome. It's awesome. Now, before we get into this film, Deb, yeah. uh, I know that you were nominated for an Emmy for your work on General Hospital, mm -hmm. working as uh, Tony Geary's iconic character's son on that show, the amazing Tony Geary. In fact, you guys performed on stage together at a Broadway Cares event that I hosted That's at right. the time. It was about oh, nine cool. years ago. <laughs> Watched you perform together. I hosted that event right there. You were so fantastic. Yeah, thank you. Now, we talk about Tony being an icon, but you yeah. say you didn't even realize the status of this TV dad for you until you kind of went out for coffee with him one day and you saw the madness. That's right, yeah. I, I never really watched TV growing up, so uh, General Hospital was more of an idea than an actual thing to me. And and I was out with, with Tony one day at coffee, and, and we're just talking, just kind of trying to work through some stuff, and and uh, some fans come up, and these these women come up, and they're just pawing all over Tony. <laughs> no they, you know, they can't believe that he's yeah. there sitting, just having coffee like a normal person. Um, and so <laughs> as they're, you know, as they're they're pawing over him, they kind of they see me out of the corner of their eye, and they're like, "Hey, Nathan, Nathan you know, will you will you take a picture of, of us with Tony?" They had no <laughs> wow. idea who I was. Right, you know, exactly. They push you out uh, of the way, I get mean, you to hold the camera. Absolutely. I mean, he's Luke. Yeah. Exactly Even right. if you didn't watch soap operas, you, you knew Luke and Laura. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was the yeah. best thing ever. Yeah, I yeah. love that. Yeah, he's a very cool guy. And he, he was a great role model for you, right? Absolutely. True. Yeah, he really was. I, I learned so much from him, just the way that he carried himself and the way that he carried the show and, and was just so happy to show up to work and, and just the pride that he took in his work. Yeah. Uh, it really impacted me, and, and I've, hopefully I've carried that on. Right. Well, he, he may have taught you the tricks of the trade for the business, but... Um, as your role as Ryan, as the Texas ranch manager in A Feeling of Home, your, your real upbringing sort of prepared you for this, didn't it? It did, yeah. I, I grew up in Texas. So I, uh, initially this, this film was, was called, Tex was about Texas, was takes place there. And, and uh, growing up in that environment, I, I rode horses and I was around cattle and I, I knew livestock really well. I knew food and barbecue and, and that is a huge part of this film. So tell us about the film. Tell us about the, the story. Well, it's a story about Ryan and Abby. Uh, they were high school sweethearts. And Abby goes away after high school to uh, the, the New England area where her mom's from. And um, something happens to her dad. She has to come back and, and help around the ranch. I'm there working as the ranch manager. Um, so what are the we, odds? We, what are the odds, right? <laughs> yeah, who yeah, who yeah. could have guessed? And uh, so we reconnect, and and um, yeah, we sort of kind of spark old feelings again, and, and yeah, try to find each other. That's she awesome, has to make man. a decision. She's a big city girl now. I'm, I'm telling you right yeah. now, coming back to Texas, well. where we got a clip of Ryan and Abby kind of reconnecting at the ranch, like you described. Uh, and I think I'm feeling just from this clip that uh, Abby might be uh, thinking that you are the one that got away, or Ryan is anyway. Let's take a look. Find those Longhorns yet? Back where they belong. I see you made a friend while I was gone. You don't give up easy, do you? Careful. That is dangerously close to a full-on compliment. We'll have none of that here at the Porter Ranch. Hmm. Consider me warned. So I loaded all that household stuff into my truck, wondering if you could come by later and help me figure out what to do with it. Tonight? Can get some time off? I think I can swing it. I'll even make dinner. Am I taking my life in my hands? What's life without a little risk every now and then? <laughs> How did I ever let that one go? There it is. There's the moment. I love she Texas. She doesn't know. She, I love Texas. I love Texas. That's I love farms. Just I love see ranches. <laughs> Um, can we shoot the show in Texas? I'm that would be so much right fun. Now. It looks beautiful. Obviously, you're around a ranch, you're around ranch animals, mm -hmm. and just watching that, you say that, you know, cows aren't the easiest to work with, <laughs> and you kind of, you know, you know you've got some experience with herding cattle, and Debbie was asking me earlier, because she's yeah. expressed a real interest in herding cattle. <laughs> I oh, have. Yeah. Excellent. So yeah. if you mm -hmm. could let me know some tips and tricks <laughs> for when I have my well, ranch in Texas. Because she's really interested. <laughs> All right. Well, the trick is you've got to follow their head, right? Their head is always just pointing the direction that they're going. So okay. you get a whole herd together 
And if you're on horseback, you gotta just watch and see every now and then one will get distracted and their head will start to turn. And you know the cow's going with it. The cow's going wherever the head's going. So you just have to cut them off, head them off, and uh, just oh. aim them kind of back towards each other. Can you so steer them the, by can trick? Can you guide them by their head? A, uh, a little, little bit, bit, yeah. They'll pretty much, they'll pretty much go wherever. You can okay. just, uh, okay. you just got to keep an eye out. You got that, Deb? That's a good tip. Yeah, I will you remember ready? that. Okay. Yeah, when I have Just my... Just make sure you do an Insta story right, of the whole thing, Right, when I have my 2,000-acre cattle ranch. <laughs> there yeah, you go. And I'll, I'll look for some help from the two of you as well. <laughs> so your character also makes his own barbecue sauce. We see a, a clip of him making his own barbecue. And as anyone knows, anyone from Texas knows, barbecue yeah. is a serious business oh, in yeah. Texas. It's different than the Carolina barbecues uh -huh. and the Tennessee barbecues. They take a lot of pride in it. There's a lot of controversy between Let's you know, not get Carolinas into it. and Let's Texas, not get into for it. sure. Well, and, Texas is the best, obviously. Well, yeah, you know, I mean, amongst Texans, Texas is the best. <laughs> so you have a very favorite place in Texas, don't you? I for do. your, What's that one? Uh, there's a few. Uh, Black's Barbecue down in Lockhart is probably one of my favorites. Um, and his son ended up taking the family recipe and starting Terry Black's in Austin. Um, so both fantastic places. Uh, you can go get delicious brisket. And what would you say is the difference between the two barbecues? Just so people understand, I'm I trying see. to explain to Cameron, yeah. he's like, I was like, South Carolina, North Carolina barbecue is different because I think the Texas one is sweeter. It's actually, no, the Carolina one's a little sweeter. Really? Texas is a little more spicy. Uh, and, and in Texas, barbecue is, is cattle, right? It's brisket, it's beef ribs. Okay. Uh, whereas in Carolina, it's more pig. You get the pork ribs. It feels more vinegary yeah, in, exactly. in the Carolinas. Yes, but uh, Texas I think I got it. I think I got it. But you know what I think you're going to be happy about? We wanted to give you a little taste of home uh, by bringing you some uh, some sauces from Black's, your favorite oh. restaurant, like you mentioned. We got a couple here, including a rub, in case you want to go uh, try your luck at your own brisket. <laughs> There, there you go. go. Oh, that's From Blacks. amazing. They were Thank very you happy so that you're much. supporting them. Yeah. Thank exactly you so right, much. Man. You enjoy that. Oh, you have to I make will. some for us. Yeah, that's right. Maybe next time I on the will. show, you'll come in and you do a, do a Texas barbecue for us. That would be, that would be awesome. We'll be thinking. We'll be thinking. <laughs> uh, a Feeling of Home premieres Saturday, May 11th at 9 p.m. 8 central, right here on Hallmark Channel, everybody. Now you